Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at using Adobe Prelude to organize our footage. Now, people have been asking for some time for a transcoding solution from Adobe, and Prelude does that plus a lot more. So, let's look at how we can go ahead and import our footage and set it to copy to a new destination, much like log and transfer in other programs, and tell it to transcode that media to another format if that's what we need to do for editing. Now don't worry, Adobe Premiere Pro still works completely natively with sources, and that's my standard workflow for most cases, but there are times when the client wants a transcoded workflow. Maybe they're working at our shop in Premiere Pro and then need to take it someplace else, like to say DaVinci Resolve, and they want self-contained media files, not camera media, and this is a great way to do that. So there's a lot to Adobe Prelude. It's a great new tool that's included with CS6. I'm just going to start by making a new project. And this project is going to contain information and metadata. One of the ways you can use Prelude is to add footage and add metadata up front or let producers go ahead and organize their material. It's a great tool for that. Today, I'm just going to give you the high-level overview about bringing things in and transcoding to a new destination with a verified copy. All right, I've got my new project, and I'm going to click on the Ingest tab because that's the first stage here. It brings up a new dialog. And what I need to do is go out to where my media is stored. In this case, I've got a folder structure here, and it's P2 media, so it locates all of that, and it's going to load in thumbnails here as I start to work. Notice it automatically detected that this was P2 media. I'm going to switch over from a list view to the thumbnail view, and it generates those, and it's really easy to see my clips. Now, depending upon the speed of the drive, and if you've done this before, it may take a second, but you see that those loaded in very quickly. And like most things in CS6, we've got great responsiveness here, so we can go ahead and increase the size of those thumbnails, making it easy to browse our footage. I could choose the shots that I want by simply clicking the select box. So this is the idea of logging. Now, if you know you want everything, I recommend you just click check all, and then you can go with everything or uncheck the few shots that you don't plan on needing. So in this case, I'm just going to uncheck the behind the scenes gear shots because I don't need that, but everything else looks great. All right, next I choose where I want those clips to go. I'm going to choose to transfer those to a new destination. You could choose a primary destination and browse. This allows you to target an internal drive or any other drive on your network, and I'll just select that folder. You could tell it to make a subfolder automatically, and it's going to do it by date and time by default, or anything else you want to put in there. You can also add additional destinations if you want to copy to multiple locations. So for example, I could put a card in to ingest and target multiple devices. This will go ahead and put it to different locations. Another thing that's very important is the verified copy option which is going to make sure that it verifies the transfer and you could do it by file size or even more in depth and it looks at the file content and this will make sure that every single file that thinks is copied actually makes it. You see when you just drag and drop something with the finder you don't have a verification process that confirms that every bit successfully made it over. This verified copy is an important step and it's a great tool that actually means that things get transferred. Even if you're not going to transcode, using this function for a verified copy is much better than just dragging at the finder level. Okay, if I need to transcode, I could do that. I'll click the transcode box, and you see we have a whole bunch of presets. Now, I could choose to go to QuickTime format and choose from any preset I have loaded. If I need more presets, I'll just jump into Adobe Media Encoder and make them. You can add presets for Avid. You could use any codec that's loaded. If I needed to, I could go ahead and target things like the XD cam format. Maybe I shot on P2, but the client wanted XD cam. And I'll just take this here. And they wanted NTSC 50. There we go. And we're going with a 720p size, or here we go, 24p. That's going to go ahead and be the full 1080 size that I shot. And when I'm all set, I just click ingest, and it'll bring that material in. Now this is going to go ahead and start the copy. It'll launch Adobe Media Encoder, and it'll load all those clips up and begin the transcode process. And you see that this is very fast. 
it's going to make the new files that we need here. There's a lot of media, and it's going to go through and process each of those and put them into the project. Now, as that's running, you could check the status here. You could see that it's just flying through. And this is one of the best things about Adobe Media Encoder is that it's very, very fast and multi-threaded. On a machine like I'm using here with modern processors, plenty of RAM, lots of GPUs, and a good CPU, multi-core, it's just flying. You might not be used to these sort of log and transfer times, but this is amazing how fast this is flying through everything, and you see that it's doing that conversion. Another thing that you can do if you want to preview the media, notice that you can go ahead and hover scrub over the material, and this lets you get a good idea of what's in a clip. If you only want to bring part of a clip in before you ingest it, you can actually use the I and O keys, and this will set in and out points. So that's very easy. And if I don't want to transcode, I'll just uncheck that there. I can actually leave these in their current location. When I click ingest, it adds it into the project as well. So very, very simple workflow. Let's you work with the material. There's all sorts of other options here for adding subclips and comments and markers. And this is great, but I just wanted to focus today on how easy it is to transcode as well as bring in the material into Adobe Prelude. When you're all set and you want to kick it over to Premiere, it's as easy as just saying file, send to Premiere Pro. So if you've got the Creative Suite and you haven't launched Prelude, be sure to dig in there. There's some pretty cool stuff for getting organized with your footage and going ahead and digging in and getting that metadata added up front. If you're a producer or assistant editor, this is an essential tool. And even if you are just a full-blown editor, you might like starting here because it's a very fast, streamlined interface for logging and processing your footage. My name is Rich Harrington. Thanks for joining us.